Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, I'm Melody, and on this channel I discuss fragrances every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So if that's something that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe. Today I'm sharing all the fragrances I wore last week, so if that's something you're interested in, please keep watching. <music> For these past few weeks I've been keeping a little bit of a perfume journal just sharing my thoughts and feelings about fragrances I've worn and the reason for why I've worn them um, and I really enjoy doing that. I just get to sit down and chat about some fragrances that I have um, worn lately. Uh, so this past week I've been starting my days by wearing something that I'm sampling and testing out. So I've been taking notes on those fragrances and when they wear off or I shower I'll put on uh, another fragrance for the day and sometimes I'll wear several fragrances during the day. So I have a whole list of fragrances I wore. Um, I don't have the bottles for all of them because most of them were little samples but I have in front of me several of my full size bottles here that I did wear. On Sunday I wore two of the Sephora favorites um, box samples. I wore the Wild Vanilla Orchid as well as Vinny and Scentsy. Um, I'll put those bottles here and I was just testing them out and seeing how I felt about them. I recall having mixed emotions on both of those fragrances. I do have a video on all of those vanillas so I'll link that up here. Later that day I showered and I put on BDK's Rouge Smoking. I love this scent so I was just staying in on Sunday and I decided I wanted to wear this. I think I was editing a video and I just smelled amazing while I did it. On Monday we were running errands and I knew I wanted to really smell nice but I also knew that we were going places where I could test fragrances. So I put on Linterdy Rouge um, on my clothes but not on my skin so I had places to test um, but I do think that it this is a really great fragrance for projection and when you're going out and you kind of want people to smell you I think this the whole Linter D line I think is really good for that. Um, you definitely get a really nice scent bubble from these fragrances and I every once in a while I'll get like a really strong whiff and I'd be like oh it smells so good. So I did wear that um, and then we had some errands and then we stopped by the mall and I went into Sephora and I tried uh, several new fragrances uh, that I hadn't smelled before and then some that I had smelled before but I just wanted to get uh, another opinion on them. So I tried the Burberry Her EDT. Um, I really really love that but <laughs> I want the same size bottle as my other Burberry Hers and I don't know if it's worth the money. <laughs> That's so silly. Like I think I would absolutely pick it up. It is a beautiful fragrance. If I got like the one ounce I definitely would use it um, and I think it's a great price <laughs> but it's quite expensive for the 3.4 ounce and since I have the other two Burberry Hers in the 3.4 ounce, I want the EDT in the 3.4 ounce. I don't know why, that's just how my brain works and um, so I think maybe down the line I'll get it. Uh, I do think it's a really pretty fragrance uh, but it didn't like knock my socks off the way the other two Burberry Hers did. I also tried the Kaoli Eden Juicy Apple. I agree with a lot of other people, it kind of smells just like a, a really nice body mist and so it's definitely not one that's on my list uh, but it is really really pretty. Two other fragrances that I tested on my skin that I'd worn before was um, Killian's Angel Share and Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. I really love Angel Share but the last time I wore it I started to feel poorly a little while after so I just wanted to make sure it wasn't the fragrance itself and it wasn't. I think that's a beautiful fragrance and it's like one of the only fragrances that my husband like has an actual reaction to like he really enjoys it. Most of the fragrances he's really indifferent to but that one he really loved. He says it smells like apple pie. So I just wanted to make sure that that one wasn't making me sick. And then the other one was uh, Killian's Love Don't Be Shy and I couldn't really remember how I felt about it before. I remember liking Rolling in Love more than it when I was at a different um, counter testing fragrances and um, I think I stand by that. I wasn't able to try Rolling in Love again but I think Killian's Love Don't Be Shy is just, there's something about it. Like, it's too sweet to me. Um, and it is a really sweet fragrance, but I definitely have more 
gourmands and sweet fragrances in my collection but there's something about that fragrance that it kind of makes my stomach turn just a little bit so that's definitely not on my list but I just wanted to give it a try and see how I felt about it the next day I was trying out uh Juliet has a gun fragrances I do have a um a discovery set for that and I will be doing another video like I did for the seven virtues and going through uh, more of my thoughts on each of the fragrances but for the first day I did not a perfume um, once that wore off I and it lasted quite a while so it was later in the day I took a little tiny samples um, from some fragrances that I'll be gifting to two of my daughters for their birthdays coming up here in March um, to just give them a try and uh, get my opinions on them so that evening I put on the Moschino Toy 2. Uh, it's nice, but it's not a fragrance for me. Something, those fruits in the opening turn on my skin. My skin is really not good for some of those like fresher fruits. Um, I have problems with Limpertrice. It just smells like garbage on me. Um, so there's something that smelled a little sour or off on my skin with the Toy 2. Um, my youngest daughter who asked for it, she wants the teddy bear perfume. Um, she wears it and it smells really lovely on her. So anyways, we got her a little one ounce bottle, but I'll be sharing those later in a separate video. Um, that didn't last too long on my skin. I took a shower and um, then I put on Reminiscence Drage before bed. I think this is a really great bedtime scent. Um, it is sweet, but it's got this like soft, pillowy, powdery almond scent and I just really love it. I also think the bottle's very pretty. This would like look so gorgeous on a nightstand. But anyhow, I <laughs> that's uh, it's just beautiful and it is really a nice comforting fragrance for bedtime. The next morning I put on Musk Invisible um, and it, it didn't last very long. So then later I put on Lipstick Fever um, and we were going out and about and um, I have my opinions on lipstick fever. It's, uh, I think the fragrance wore me. Um, I kind of felt really insecure in that fragrance. I definitely didn't feel like I was dressed for that fragrance, but, um, we came home after running some errands and I took a shower and I put on Ariana Grande's R.E.M. again. It's now one of my go-to, um, relaxing scents. And so I think I was editing a video and I just sprayed this all over and just relaxed and edited a video and just hung out um, later and that was like midday actually I think that was um, probably around four or five that day uh, so later that evening I really hadn't tried Italica too much on my skin I'd given it a spray here or there but I actually wanted to do like a full wear of this fragrance so I decided to do that for bedtime it is definitely like a super gourmand and it was just I was in the mood for something super sweet and so I wore Italica just before bed I think my husband and I were watching shows and I just think this is definitely more of a at-home fragrance than going out fragrance because it is very specifically like it, it smells just like food so if you don't want to be walking around and having strangers think you just spilled a mess of food on yourself this is something that like I think is for your own enjoyment and not so much for like going out and and so that's why I wore it at home and I really really love it the next day I wore Juliet has against mmm um and I've talked about that fragrance a number of times here that I think it smells like bag bomb and uh it still smells like bag bomb to me so anyhow I wore that and after it wore off some time uh, that one took a really long time uh, that fragrance is a little bit of a beast but after I was done wearing that I put on cloud for bedtime um this is just one of my go-to nighttime fragrances and I absolutely love it and I think that's where I wear it most of the time um I think this is a everyday anytime kind of fragrance you can just wear this anytime this is like what people call a dumb reach um it's just so or easy reach I think is how I prefer to call it it's just so easy to grab it is mass appealing it is comforting it um it's just a great fragrance so I wore that before bed I've been trying to put on fragrances several hours before bed um 
so that it does not bother my husband. So usually we're in bed by like 10. So at like about seven or eight, I will spray on a fragrance and really just enjoy it as we're like hanging out and watching shows or whatever we're doing and then um, going to bed with that scent on. And so I've been wearing this and REM for most nights, um, but I've just really been loving wearing it. The next day I wore uh, Juliet Has a Guns Pear Ink and that didn't last very long on my skin so I was able to put on Kay Ollie's Invite Only. Um, I hadn't put that on my skin yet and so I put this on and I love, 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 love this fragrance. Um, it's got kind of a little bit of a sour yet really rich syrupy dark cherry opening. It is so good. But I started feeling a little sick after a while and I don't think it was the fragrance. I just wasn't feeling very good. Um, and so it kind of made my stomach turn a little bit. In fact, I think it's probably for the best because there were, I saw while I was laying in bed, I saw like several sales on different fragrances that I would say vibe similar to this. Like one of them was pretty heavy cherry fragrance and another one was really heavy on cinnamon and uh, both of them had really great deals and I passed on them because this one was making me feel a little ill so I don't think it was actually this fragrance that did it but in my head I was like I don't really want to be buying any fragrance that smells like that right now but I do really really love this fragrance I think the jury's still out if I'll get a full bottle when I first smelled it I was definitely head over heels and really wanted a full-size bottle but it is very, very strong. So, um, I'm going to keep wearing it because I have quite a bit left and see if after I'm done <laughs> with this bottle, if I'll want a full size. So that one, I actually was feeling so poorly. I did, um, take a shower to get that fragrance off of me and I was looking, I wanted to wear something else and I was feeling up to trying something or testing something out and taking some notes on it before bed. Um, I often enjoy doing that, um, as well as just wearing some of my go-tos. And I decided to put on one of the little decants that I made of the girls' fragrances, and my oldest asked for Angel Nova, and so I, um, wore that, and which was, I think, silly of me. I probably shouldn't have decided after I wasn't feeling well to put on a, uh, rose based fragrance. I'm not a fan of rose. Um, I think Angel Nova is probably one of the freshest, wateriest kind of roses that I do like. It's definitely not a mature rose. Um, it's definitely younger. Um, but I did really like it. It is a fragrance that my daughter really wanted and I've, I've smelt it on her and I don't think she's too young for it necessarily. I honestly don't think that fragrance has an age. Um, however, there are certain fragrances that I couldn't imagine, like little kids walking around it, but she really wanted it and she's turning 10. So we kind of wanted to give her a really nice gift. So that was one of the fragrances that she had asked for. And so we decided to purchase it and it's definitely not something that I would personally wear, but I think it is really beautiful. I really like that raspberry and lychee notes in the beginning and the rose is actually quite appealing, but it's not one that I would like keep in my collection. However, I think I might go into her collection every once in a while and <laughs> spray it because it is quite lovely. And lastly, on Saturday, I wore Lily Fantasy. Um, I did not like that. I actually had to scrub it off my skin. It was not a fragrance I enjoyed whatsoever. So after wearing that, I went with something that I find very sweet and comforting and that I think is probably what you'll notice most is like I really go th for those comforting, warm, um, fragrances. I spend a lot of my time at home and so I like to feel cozy and relaxed and so uh, those are the fragrances I go to most. So I put on Beyond Romance. It is just the fluffiest, um, softest, sweetest kind of raspberry fragrance. It is just, it is so lovely. It is on the sweet side. Um, but I think it's done in a very elegant way. It's not like sweet in that like body spray, teenage kind of way. It is definitely a woman's fragrance, but it is so um, just comforting and lovely. And I'm so happy I got the big bottle. 
Um, so this was the last fragrance I wore. I, um, I just, after having to put up with Julie Hassigan's Lily Fantasy, I was ready for something that I knew was an easy reach, was something that I really loved and I could carry me through the whole day. That was all the fragrances that I wore this past week. Um, I'm really enjoying doing these videos and I made this disclaimer last time. Um, I'm not sure how many people are really enjoying me just sitting here talking about my week and what I wore, but if anyone has any suggestions on what I could do for these videos, I would love that. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you gave it a like. I want to know what have you been wearing this week. Um, leave those down in the comments. And if you enjoy my kind of video, I'd love it if you would subscribe. I hope you've had a blessed day. Bye.